Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, shaving with video. Shaving with video. This soap is a home. It's not too much to ask for, right? <laughs> of course, it's not. It's not too much to ask to have a good shave. That's what this channel is about. And hopefully, your shaves are improving by little things that you're able to pick up, whether it's a soap whether it's uh, a brush, uh, a shaving technique, a razor, blades, whatever it is, uh, I hope that your shaving is improving a little bit at a time and I hope you're getting something out of these videos. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe uh, if, if uh, shaving is something that's important to you and uh, you're excited about, you wanna get more involved with, subscribe uh, to the site here and just uh, stay tuned and watch these videos. Uh, you'll see every every few days new videos, and over time, uh, hopefully, you'll see the same thing that I've seen, and that's just awesome shaves. I um, best shaves of my life. I am I'm getting the best shaves of my life uh, right now for sure. Um, that's not to say I'm trying new products. And once in a while, um, if you guys watched the last video, you know you're gonna find products that aren't the best, but that's just part of it, you know. You're gonna sort through the great products, the not so great products. Uh, in the end, it's it's very beneficial. So, enough about that. Let's get right into it. Today's review is for none other than, you might have guessed it, another brush, you saw it in the title, of course. This is the Omega S brush. This is a synthetic brush um, this is actually the brush. I tried one similar to this. Um, only once though. I've only used an S brush once in my life, even to this day. Um, but this is the brush that I tried. I tried the one, uh, that had, uh, a red handle, but the brush is the same. And that's all I used up until then or the, were, uh, the brush that you've seen in my other reviews, which is uh, this brush right here. This is uh, an Omega Boar uh, hair brush. Um, it's very, uh, you know, I mean, lots of backbone, very, you know, bristly. Um, anyways, quite a different experience with the soft brush. Now, this is more similar uh, to the Please Soft brush. Um, which I previously did the review for, and that's right here, right? So if you haven't seen that review yet, it's definitely worth your time to, to go and see that. But we'll get right into this. So uh, to be fair, I'm going to review this brush the exact same way that I reviewed that brush, and that is uh, using Razor Rock Soap. So that way if you watch both the videos, you're gonna get a fair comparison uh, with what what these uh, brushes can do. Now, <clears throat> I'll do two things. I am gonna do a bowl lather for you, and then I'm also gonna do a face lather um, as well, so you can get a, a good idea with both. Some people uh, prefer face lathering, some people prefer uh, bowl lathering, and whichever you prefer, hopefully you'll get a good uh, feedback in this video about it. Um, so with that being said, one of the benefits I want to know about a synthetic brush is it doesn't take a, you, they don't need to be broken in. They come ready to go. Um, they uh, are fantastic. This is very soft, okay, so it's good on the skin. Um, and uh, you just get them wet and you go right to town. That's it. I mean, they're simple. So that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing going. And uh, we're going to start with the bowl lather first. But first I'm just going to get it, the brush wet. That's it. That's all I need to do. Um, you can see here there's a little bit of water. Um, shake it out a little bit. And go to town. So <clears throat> get out the good old soap here. And... 
this is a small brush so it's actually nice like you don't have like the entire brush that's taken up all the soap and and what you've got plenty of room in here um, it feels like it's containing the soap like actually pretty well it's also loading up pretty well like inside so this is what we've done in just a few seconds uh, of trying to load up this brush with enough soap um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and put this down and uh, with that we're going to start the bowl lather right here and uh, I'll come back when I've got that whipped up. To save time I'm going to fast forward to it. So here's the lather. <laughs> so here we go. That's pretty good on lather. I'd say that's pretty good for a tiny brush. That much lather. Not to mention there's a little bit left in the bowl as well. Um, but yeah, is this enough to get your three passes on? Absolutely. Let's see how this stuff paints. Uh, this paints good. Feels good. You can see it's just takes no time to get this this paint on a nice thick plenty of lather on your face this is going to be great for a shave I still it's just coming right off the brush so in terms of uh, how much soap is in here this is not as much soap as the monster so you guys watched my either the uh, the police soft uh, razor rock police soft synthetic brush review which is no, also known as the monster uh, review you're gonna see it produces an amazing amount of soap um, in fact in my video that I just posted the other day I tried to get through all the soap and it wouldn't even it wouldn't I didn't get through it trying to so probably more than you need on this brush it's not gonna uh, produce that much the same amount but it's plenty I mean you can get your passes on and this is gonna it's gonna do it so uh, I think that's great we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna wash the brush out and then we're gonna do a face lather and see uh, what you guys think about that as well alright so we got a fair amount of soap loaded up into the brush uh, for the face lather and this is what how uh, a face lather goes on here I mean look at this thing go to town like this thing was just putting it on this is not lacking in performance at all. I haven't even told you guys the best thing about this brush yet. But look at this thing. There. You want to add a little bit of water to it? Pull it up, work it in, no problems whatsoever, like none. This thing is good, ready to go. So uh, if you guys want to know the best thing about this brush, that is <laughs> the best thing about this brush. best thing about this brush is you can get it I think I paid either $6.99 or $7.99 I either paid seven or eight bucks for this brush at Italian Barber so I'm posting the link if you guys want one it's in the link below go there pick one of these things up if you like the review you can't go wrong if you do you're out seven bucks eight bucks anyways um, so there's definitely some advantages to um, having the to having a brush like this. Uh, even if it's not your daily brush, maybe it will be your daily brush. Maybe for you, it's just going to be exactly what you want, you know. Um, but if it's not, maybe it's your traveling brush. Maybe you know it's just the perfect traveling brush. But I promise you, it is not lacking whatsoever in any category. This is perfect for someone who's just starting out into uh, wet shaving and you haven't decided yet whether or not you're going to jump in with both feet if you're all in or not. You just want to 
you know, get a, a small kit and spend as least amount as possible and have the best experience, this, my friends, this is your brush to get started with. In my opinion, anyone who's wanting to get started and your whole goal is spend as least amount of possible to get the biggest bang for your buck, this is going to be your brush. Um, so, but in, in, in terms of, uh, if you're willing to spend a couple dollars more, maybe you would want to, to get the monster. You can't go wrong with that brush either. It's 11 bucks is what I paid for it. It's at Italian Barber too. Um, I'll also post, uh, the link to that video in the comments below, uh, or I'll put it in a playlist so that you guys can watch that as well. Either way, eight dollars, seven, eight dollars for the smaller brush, eleven dollars for the big one. Um, but every wet shaver should have, after my experience, every wet shaver should have in their collection of brushes one of these two brushes. Uh, you'll know why once you order it and you use it. You can thank me later.